close distance situation with a rifle and I get attacked, I'm talking about a situation where I could be at a checkpoint talking to someone, asking for documentation, inquiring about some activity. I'm talking about a situation where I could be inside of a house, of a building, maybe carrying out a warrant arrest or trying to find a suspect. The fastest way to react in a close, confined space being attacked might be to use um, this weapon in a sort of a hand-to-hand -hand combat situation, all right? I can block with this weapon, think about it, it's a metal okay, stick that might be better than blocking off a knife or a, st or a stick with my hand. So I'll use this weapon. From this position, which is the natural position for a combat soldier, the fastest area of my weapon that can strike is the part, the part of the optic, okay? Now obviously, we respect optics and we want to take care of the optic. But if I am already in a survival situation, that comes second. I need to strike, I need to do it hard as fast as possible. So I can use the top part of my weapon, the optic to strike, okay? The head, uh, the face, okay? The, the throat of my opponent. I can also use the stock of my rifle. Using the stock of my rifle, almost like punching, okay? With a hook, using my hip, I'm striking with the stock of my weapon. The barrel as well. I hit with the barrel, okay, the side of the face as well. Another very efficient strike is to use the barrel as sort of like a stab, okay, or a dagger towards the face, towards the chest. It can have a very, very, very damaging results on my opponent. So by combining those strikes, okay, I can create the opportunity to have distance and now be on a superior okay, state of control over that suspect with a round in the chamber and locked on to the target. In many confrontations that happened in the past, magazines sometimes fall. As I'm striking, a magazine can fall. So it's important once you finish striking and you want to regain control of your weapon, that you check for that magazine, you check that it's inside. If it's not inside, obviously replace, recharge your weapon and be ready to continue. If I am at a larger distance and I have a malfunction on my rifle, for example, I might want to go for a transition to my secondary weapon. If I am far away and I can clear a malfunction on my, on my rifle, then I'll do that. I'll prefer always to have a bullet than to strike. However, on a very close distance scenario, it might be that from this distance, if he's stabbing me or attacking me, the fastest thing to do might be to defend and then keep striking to create that distance. Instead of maybe just trying to go back and to shoot, which might take me a little longer, I could get stabbed in critical areas of my body, okay? Such as the neck, the face, and the chest. So I wanna defend that, I wanna strike and create that distance to reapply my uh, shooting platform. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more about IDF Special Forces and their gear, hit the subscribe button and notification bell.